In case you guys are wondering what type of uh, rope that is, this is it right here. I will leave a link down in the description. As always, I got it off of Amazon. They wanted you to do this funky knot loop thing and I understand why they're doing it. However, they have a uh, heat shrink tube on there which really binds up um, at the beginning there so I just eliminated it. I'll just have to remember that uh, when I extend this out to leave a wrap on the drum. You know, one row of wrap. So that might take up like, you know, five to ten feet, but whatever. I have extension straps I can use. But yeah, this is it. Uh, let's go out and take a look at it. So it fits on that drum just about perfect. There's a little bit more room, so I suppose you could get a longer one if you wanted. Um, this is the three quarter inch rope as you saw on the little identification card there, and it's good for a minimum of 27,000 pounds. So got the little uh, sidewinder on there. That looks great, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna work out good. Kind of gives a whole new look to the front end of Abel there, so. Well, now that we got the uh, winch mounted, uh, there's something I want to talk to you guys about. And I, I hate having to bring this up, but it needs to be mentioned. Um, we'll go in the house here and I'll show you some emails that were exchanged between myself and uh, I believe his name is Mitch from uh, Sherpa Winches. And I'll kind of explain to you what's going on. Uh, just to clarify, I don't have a problem with the winch at all. The winch is awesome. And the the product itself is awesome. Uh, I have a problem with the uh, customer service and uh, kind of a blame game thing going on here. So I want to share that with you guys. And you can make your own decisions on it. I'm not trying to badmouth anybody, but I just want to share my experience with you so that you can kind of make a judgment call uh, based on that. But let's go in the house and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, once again, I really hate having to bring stuff like this up, and hopefully you guys can see the screen here. Um, I sent uh, Sherpa a uh, email, and I asked them, you know, if there was any way I could get a any type of a discount, or if there was a discount code going on right now. And um, I just wrote them a quick message, you know, hello, I'm looking to purchase a Sherpa Stallion winch with wireless control box. I'm going to be including the installation of my build series on my YouTube channel, and this will be going on a 24K pound LMTV. Uh, I was hoping that you have an active discount, and uh, I just threw that I'm a veteran in there. And then this is the reply I got. Uh, thanks for your inquiry. I, I can knock a hundred dollars off for you. We don't have any codes running through the website at present So I can send you a PayPal invoice with the amount. Let me know if that's okay, and I'll get it sorted That was from Brett So I replied with sweet I need a Sherpa stallion with a synthetic line 24 volt and wireless controls and this email is my PayPal address Uh, then they asked me what my delivery address was, which I sent to them, and then um, I got an invoice, but they sent me the first one with a 12-volt uh, invoice, and once again, I told them I need the Stallion 25K, 24 volts with a synthetic winch line on the wireless remote. And once I receive the correct invoice, I will gladly pay you. It appears you sent me one for a 12-volt unit, which won't do me any good. Thank you, Sean Filner. And then they replied with, we'll revise it now, apologies. And that was Mitch. The next issue I had wasn't really uh, Sherpa's fault. It had to do with customs and the paperwork was filled out incorrectly. And so there was this back and forth tennis match going between the United States FedEx and Australia FedEx um, in regards to the correct paperwork. They finally did get it sorted out, but it took an extra two and a half weeks uh, to get the package here and so you see Mitch replied with uh, he's on to it now and this is ridiculous and he apologized and then I sent him an email saying hey you guys sent me the wrong winch uh, you sent me steel rope instead of synthetic line which is what I wanted um, and he's, Mitch replied with good afternoon Sean apologies that it's taken so long due to the freight this is an extremely rare error on the freight company 
uh, and he was continuously following up with them. Responses he was getting were not getting any response from FedEx in the U.S., so I had... So until I had some news for you, I had nothing. However, the steel cable option is the most popular option in the States. We also may be out of synthetic rope. Um, and I'll look into it and come back to you with the next steps. From this point on, I didn't hear anything from um, Mitch. And this was on the... Uh, let's see, what day did he send this out? On the 11th. And it is the 16th today. So I haven't heard anything from him. I didn't hear back from Sherpa for four days, so um, I didn't know what else to do aside from um, contact them again, and I didn't hear anything back. Uh, and then I let them know that I filled out a PayPal resolution form since I hadn't heard back from you. Uh, I ended up ordering the correct synthetic, lin synthetic line and fair lead, and I would like to be compensated for those items in the amount of $300. So I was just asking for me to be made whole um, in that. And then uh, his reply was, Sean, they're the same price. How would you expect to receive $300 when there's no price difference on each product? Kind regards. Now I've escalated this to a claim because he's obviously not responding anymore. And uh, you know, this would be so simple if he would just refund me the 300 bucks that it cost for me to uh, find and and pay for and have shipped uh, the synthetic line and um, the fair lead um, I don't I honestly I don't have a problem with the winch what I have a problem with is when somebody else makes a mistake and then they try to blame it on the customer which really frustrates me which is why I'm including it in this video like I said I don't have any hard feelings but I just want the deal to be fair and uh, the only thing I can think of as being fair, instead of me spending a thousand dollars to ship it back to them, is to actually use the product and then correct the error that they made by purchasing the correct product that I ordered in the first place. So, I want to clarify, guys, that I, I really hate having to include this in in my video because I really wanted to promote their product and give them a shout out, but I I just can't justify that when something like this is going on. Now I will include an update video if they decide to change their tune and refund the $300 for the um, synthetic line, which is a lot less than what it actually costs at the time. Um, so I'm not asking for, you know, an entire refund. That would be ridiculous because I'm still using their product. On top of that, uh, this winch package used to be 998 bucks shipped. And they most recently uh, increased it by $600 within the last six months. So I'm not sure where that extra cost comes from or what, what the deal is, but um, that's aside from the point. Um, however, like I said, I will include an update if they decide to make things right. And uh, if they don't decide to make things right or whatever the PayPal case resolution is or if I have to file a chargeback with the credit card company I will definitely let you guys know but I just wanted to make the community aware of this um, and hopefully you don't get treated the same way that I was treated where initially they they deal with you with happiness for a sale but then after you get the item it turns into a we don't want to deal with you type situation again um, I can't stand it when when uh, corporations or companies do that um, but yeah but aside from that that's gonna be it for this video guys if you uh, like this video give me a thumbs up uh, if you're not subscribed yet we'd love to have you as a subscriber and as always take care guys and I'll catch you next time see you later bye bye